Disaster risk reduction knowledge of senior high students. Basis for a proposed Alangonga mobile or cell phone application. By Mr. Marvin A. Moraleja, the school DRRM coordinator of Natalia V. Ramos Memorial Integrated School. It is relevant and significant to assess the capacity of students on DRR to ensure that the senior high school education of the K-12 curriculum is substantial on the culture of safety and resilience toward disaster risks. Therefore, this study was conceptualized to determine the DRR knowledge of grade 11 and 12 students in Natalia V. Ramos Memorial Integrated School. Specifically, it aimed to assess the disaster-related knowledge, preparedness and readiness, adaptation, awareness, and risk perception of senior high school students. Descriptive research design and researcher-made questionnaire was utilized to gather the necessary data. Responses of senior high students were assessed using the four-point Likert scale. 152 senior high school students are the total population of senior high students in Natalia V. Ramos Memorial Integrated School in Batangas City served as the respondents. A survey questionnaire was adopted by the researcher from the study of Tuladhar et al. Table 1 shows the mean percentage of each response option of senior high school students on disaster-related knowledge. Out of 152 student respondents, 42% disagree or find it unclear when a disaster will happen. Followed by 29% strongly disagree or do not know when a disaster will happen. Majority of the students or 35% agree that there is no prevention for the occurrence of disaster. There is also a high percentage of students or 38% who disagree that they have been participants in a DRR seminar and training. Table 2 shows that majority of the senior high school students or 39% disagree or unclear in the significance of sharing knowledge and experiences of disaster. On the other hand, 40% of the senior high school students recognize the importance of making conversations about disasters with family members, neighbors, relatives, friends, and colleagues. Likewise, 45% of the senior high students know that the government is ready to provide assistance after disaster. Majority of the senior high students or 35% disagree or not confident that reconstruction activities can be implemented after disaster. However, 40% of the students gain enough knowledge about disasters from experts who work or conduct activities for disaster reduction and management. Table 3 shows the mean percentage of each response option of senior high school students on disaster adaptation. Majority of the senior high school students or 50% strongly agree that they are aware of the shelter areas or evacuation centers, and open spaces in case of a disaster. In addition, 45% of the senior high school students are aware about which government institution needs to be coordinated and contacted with after disaster. Majority or 87% of the senior high school students are informed about disaster-prone areas. Likewise, 35% of the senior high school students are obtained sufficient information about disaster adaptation from the local government. However, 72% of the senior high school students are fully aware and informed about the evacuation system and plan in their locality. Table 4 shows the mean percentage of each response option on disaster awareness. Majority of the senior high school students or 54% strongly agree that they are actively participate for disaster awareness campaign. On the other hand, 48% of the senior high school students are not prepared with emergency kits and bags in case of disaster. Likewise, majority of the senior high school students or 40% do not prioritize awareness in the local, regional, and national level. In addition, 57% of the senior high school students are not aware on the importance of building or infrastructure retrofitting. Table 5 shows that the highest percentages of students, 71% have not perceived that large-scale disasters will definitely happen in the next 10 years. On the other hand most of the students or 59% have perceived on the safety of their localities or areas. Same trend was also observed regarding their perception about earthquake-resistant structures such as their houses and other buildings. The senior high school students of Natalia V. Ramos Memorial Integrated School do not understand some disaster-related concepts and ideas, they are not prepared and not aware on the risk inflicted by these natural hazards. Low perception on disaster risks are evidently observed among senior high school students. Therefore, there is a need to uplift the level of knowledge of the senior high school students in terms of disaster risk reduction and management.
In this connection, the researcher developed a mobile or cell phone application which is Alingon Ga that can be a great step forward in disseminating information to all students about the disaster-related knowledge and useful information on what to do, before, during and after a disaster. Alingon Ga mobile application includes offline and online instructions on what to do in emergency situations, including natural hazards like typhoon, flood, earthquake, landslide, tsunami, and volcanic eruption. It also includes information on human-induced hazards like fire, vehicular accidents, electrical blackout, food poisoning, bomb threat, and kidnapping threats. The emergency contacts screen are also available to reach the Batangas City Disaster Risk Reduction and Monument Council, Bureau of Fire Protection in Batangas City, as well as the hospital near you and other essential services. You can also get the latest real-time satellite data, the predicted path of typhoon in the Philippines or in Batangas province, strike possibilities, wind speeds, and more. In addition, the Alingon Ga mobile application has emergency preparedness game. That's all. I am Mr. Marvin Moraleja, the DRRM coordinator of Natalia V. Ramos Memorial Integrated School. Thank you and God bless.